Hello guys, welcome to Klaus Gaming. Today's circus is in town, but it's not the kind of circus that you might think. Let's check it out. Panarium is a 2D platformer with a <laughs> little twist to it, but uh, we'll see that in the intro. Let's go straight to the campaign mode, pick the first level. Once there was a kid who was loved only by his father. His name was Willie. Willie worked the land of his father's farm all day long. The work was tough and boring. Poor Willie longed for adventure. One day, while Willie was working the edge of the farm, a circus caravan rode by. As if it was destiny, a tall, mysterious figure appeared and promised Willie extraordinary adventure. Willie was mesmerized by the spectacle. He felt an uncontrollable urge to take part in it. The tall figure directed him towards an empty wagon. Willie jumped on board, expecting to see the show of his life. He would only be gone for a day. The caravan rode for hours, and when it finally stopped, Willie was thrown onto the circus floor. The tall figure stood over him and welcomed him to Panarium, the sadistic circus extravaganza. So yeah, Willie wanted to go to the circus, but instead he became the attraction in the sadistic circus of Panarium. Welcome Willie, welcome to the sadistic circus extravaganza. That is Panarium. Under my guidance, you will take your shot at becoming a top contestant. All you have to do is survive. How hard can it be? Let's start with the uh, basics. All you can do is run left or right and jump. Panarium's enchanted atmosphere allows you to double jump in thin air. A magical arena wraps around. Exit one side and enter on the op opposing side. Let's start simple. Get used to uh, your abilities and smash five barrels, will you? Alright, so this is uh, the first level in the campaign mode and it serves as a sort of tutorial. And the controls are easy. But yeah, you can see you die if you, <laughs> if you fall off the edge there. And you can instantly retry. So we have to pick up these barrels without dying. And you can double jump. And you jump on space and you move left and right on the arrow keys and you can jump through here and come out the other side. So that was the first level. So we'll go straight to the next challenge here. Alright farmer boy, surviving is pretty easy when nothing is shooting at you. Staying alive might mean the world to you, but it means nothing to the audience. They want you to entertain, that means they want you to dance or die. Let's take this training to the next level. Bring in the traps. <laughs> Evil laugh. Every five barrels you smash, I will activate a new trap. Show me you can smash ten barrels and survive. Dance, farmer boy, dance. Alright, come on, really, you can do it. So now he uh, throws this little ball at us. That will uh, insta-kill us if we uh, run into it. Or if we fall off the edge like I just did there, which is a bad idea. You just press restart and uh, you're back in action. So as you can see, this is a, a platformer at heart. And it gets really, uh, really hard uh, very quickly, actually. So if you get frustrated easily by hard platformers, this might not be for you. But if you love that kind of gameplay, I'm pretty sure you'll have a lot of fun with this game. Because it's hard as nails. So that was the second level. Let's go to the next challenge. So look who's still alive. Hmm, Some fireworks on a big rock are hardly a challenge. I forgot to activate the lower rail. Nah, <laughs> let's see how you fare against two traps. I added some more traps to the mix. Survive and smash 15 barrels. Go boy. Go boy and don't forget to keep it together, get it together. <laughs> I'm such a funny guy. Yeah, he's also wearing a mask that looks a little bit like the mask from V, the movie. So now this thing up there is shooting at us. And the levels can actually take some time to complete. Which means that you will be a little bit sad when you die. Because you were on the 19th barrel out of the 20 or something like that. So see, we, now we have a new gimmick here. with some water that slows us down here. But we can still collect the barrels. 
and jump out of the water. Just have to uh, get to the, to the top of the water before we jump. So now a little uh, parrot, a parakeet, comes and uh, takes the barrels and then I jumped into that icicle there. So you see now I have to start over. So that's a little bit frustrating because I actually uh, have made to the last uh, one third of that level. So just avoiding the shots here. So the more times you try a level, the more you understand what's going on in it and, and know what, uh, what stuff you need to avoid. Jump in the other side here. I missed the double jump. So where's the barrel? Oh, it's back here. Avoid the rocket there. Feels a little bit like New Year's Eve. Just have to avoid fireworks everywhere. So now this little thing is flying away with the barrel and I have to... Ah, uh... oh, damn it! <laughs> so, yeah. I was watching the parrot and then I fell off the edge. Let's try again. I have to not get hit. Ah, crap. Down I go. So yeah, the starting over is a little bit frustrating. <laughs> because the levels can be... Uh quite long compared to other games where you die as much as you do here. So it feels like you lose more progress than you, than you do when you die in a Super Meat Boy or something like that. Ah, I need to, uh, I need to catch the little birdie. So the first few battles are fairly easy. Here comes the parrot. Grab that one ahead of the parrot. Second one. Ah, I should just have. Ah, he cheated me there, the little parrot guy. Now I should have it. Yeah. There we go. Now we have the water back. So I think it's random where the uh, barrel shows up, so sometimes it'll be easier. And sometimes it'll be harder, depending on where it shows up. So that was that challenge. I really wish that Willy would do like a little victory dance, because sometimes it feels like an accomplishment when you actually finish a level, because it can be hard. Lovely stuff, Willy. You handled yourself better than I thought. Are you by any chance a little bit claustrophobic, Willy? Let's see how creative you are when I limit your options. Introducing the blocker. This trap will prevent you from wrapping around the edges. I installed some additional contraptions. How about you? Smash 20 barrels? Yep, ready, go. So 20 bar barrels, that's quite a lot. And we can't uh, jump from one side to the other at the edge of the screen. Ah, so now it's firing uh, homing rockets at us. And uh, some sort of uh, fan that actually also moves around the, uh, the level here on the platforms. I think I can walk under it. Yeah. So we have 13 out of 20 barrels. So, well, some kind of dragon. <laughs> like a Chinese New Year's. Alright, just one more barrel. I'll get it here. Challenge completed. Success. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't get cocky though. I need you to run some errands for me. I ran out of my favorite body. Lotion. Uh, I mean dark magic potion. <laughs> Alright, that's a good little joke. Yes, obviously dark magic potion. I need you to make me some. Catch the ingredients before they break and bring them to the corresponding cauldron. The ingredients are limited, so don't break too many of them. Get to it, farmer boy. Alright, so where are the potions? Are oh, they coming down in parachutes up here? So it brought that one to the correct one. So these icicles uh, stay in place. So we can't jump into them or we'll die. So Will is carrying uh, the little potions on his back here. Wanna 
get this one. It'd be uh, easy to put in the correct one. Oh, there we go. So now he's throwing balls. Not the good kind of balls. Challenge failed. I didn't even see how I died there. I was watching all of the traps on the screen. But you get the basic uh, idea here of the gameplay. So let's head back to the menu and I'll just show you arcade mode. And first I'll show you the shop. And uh, this one you can buy power-ups for arcade mode. Click on info, you can see this one. Extra platforms, gracefully, gracefully wander the clouds like the elegant angels from ancient tales. Clouds act as extra platforms, projectiles travel through them. Conditions active for 25 seconds and it will cost 500 uh, gold. And we don't have any gold yet because it doesn't seem like you earn it in campaign mode. So let's try and play some arcade here, see what that's all about. And also of course you can play multiplayer, uh, co-op or versus mode against, against friends. Well, let's head into arcade mode, show that. Smash the barrel to start. And go down here, dunk. I guess if Donkey Kong was uh, a human, he would look like Willy. So there I just picked up some gold. So I guess we just survive as long as we can in <laughs> arcade mode, which was not very long. And then you get your personal best here, time survived, gold collected, and how much you have in your wallet, and how many barrels you smashed. And then there's leaderboards. So yeah. Six barrels so far, we can do better, let's try again. Now uh, I, I can feel it now, now it's gonna go very well. Oh shit. We don't like that kind of balls. Yeah, so this one's going a little bit better. We had five barrels now, just one more. It will be uh, even Steven with that previous record. So just need to avoid the bees, pick up the stuff here. So now we can swim. And you can actually swim under the platforms there. Ah, damn it. So you got 11 barrels. But you get the idea, that's the arcade mode. And if you look at the main menu here, there's uh, two worlds here that I have not unlocked yet. Alright guys, that's the game, that's Panarium, the unfriendly circus where all of the clowns are scary and everything's trying to kill you. If you enjoy difficult platformers, this might be for you. This game probably is in the same ballpark as uh, Super Meat Boy and, and other hardest nails platformers like that. So if you enjoy the challenge, you'll have a lot of fun here and if you don't, <laughs> you'll probably just get frustrated. Pinarium comes out on Steam in a couple of days, so pick it up if you think it looks interesting. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.